So what I'm saying is, is if you carry on doing things the way you've always done them, you can carry on getting the results that you've always got. So if you want the results to change, if you want things to change, what can you change? Can, can you change the president? The oh, maybe every five years, but, but I can't go and change them tomorrow. Okay? Interest rates, can't change them. The way the economy is going, can, can I change that? No. What, what can I change? Okay. So you've got control over that part of your life. Okay. You can change one thing. So if you can't change all those other things, what do we do with it? We use them and we say, okay, I'm going to work within those parameters. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I need to do, irrespective of what interest rates are. Irrespective of whether the president's good, bad, indifferent, who cares? Irrespective of what's going on in the economy, I need to change me. I need to do what I need to do to make my life work. Because, you know, we all say things like, you know, interest rates are too high. The economy's in a bad place, so, so we can't achieve. So can you, is, is what happens up to you, or is it up to what's going on in the economy? It's up to you. It's up to you, it's bottom line. Absolutely. So, so that's what I'm trying to stress today is everything's up to you. What are you going to do to make things better for you? Because nobody else is. Who, who else is, who else is going to take care of you? Who, who, else is, who else is fully responsible for you? Does anybody care as much as you care about you? You know, I don't know if you guys have ever flown on an airplane before. You know on the plane when they do that, that briefing? Yeah. And they say, in the unlikely event that the cabin yeah. wants to come decompressurize, <laughs> these masks will flow from the roof. Yeah. When you stop screaming, grab the mask, put it over your face, and breathe normally. And, and of course, if you've got more than one children, but you choose which one you love first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but we love present. The reality is, when I'm on the plane, if I had to help my kid first, and I pass out, who am I actually helping? Okay, so I need to pull the mask, put it on my face first, now I can breathe, now I'm able to offer help to people. So isn't it the same in my life? Don't I need to take care of me first? Don't I need to make sure that my activity management routines are right? Don't I have to make sure that I have all the skills, I have all the knowledge, I have all the abilities that I need? Because think about it, if I become better, I'll become a better employee. If I become better, I'll become a better boyfriend, husband, girlfriend, spouse, wife. I'll become better to society. I'm a better contributor. I'm not a drain on the economy. Yeah. All around, I just, I, I just become better. I don't, don't I? So, what's the most important person to take care of? Me. Okay, so when you wake up in the morning, who's the most important person in your life? Me. Correct. And who are you going to take the best care of? You. Because that's where it starts. It all starts and ends with you. Nobody else is going to care about you as much as you care about you. And it sounds selfish, but it's not. Because the better you are, the, 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 better, the better you are to everybody else. Okay? So put that mask on you first. Take care of you first. Okay? So what I'm going to be offering you today are a number of invitations. A couple of ideas, a couple of concepts. Like I said, we don't even have time to turn you into activity management engineers that you're going to walk out of here and it's going to just start happening. Okay, we don't have enough time to do that. But I want to just awaken a few ideas. Are they all going to fit you? Well, well if I had to take my shoes and give them to you, how likely is it they'll fit? Okay, you'll get blisters. <laughs> but, but, no! They'll fit you. Maybe they'll fit you, okay? So some ideas that, 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 that won't work for you, will work for you, might work for you. Do you understand? So, but should you give it a go? Why not? Try them. They may work. If it does, <coughs> as Jim Rohn says, what if it is just an apple a day? You know that story of apple a day gets the doctor away? What if, what if it is just an apple a day, but you don't eat that apple? Okay, what if it is one of these concepts or one or two of these concepts that is going to revolutionize your life, but, you, but you're not going to try them? Okay, so explore them. That's, they may work, they may not. But, you know, because your circumstances are unique to you. Yeah. Who you are and what you are is unique. I mean, there's no other person on this planet that's like you. You're unique, you're special, and you're unique. And that uniqueness and that specialness is what you need to explore and you need to use to, to your advantage because there's no one else like you out there. Okay, now one of the things I think one of the most terrifying things we, we have in life is 
flying an airplane. Okay? The guy flying the plane needs to know what he's doing. Okay? He needs to know where he's going, what he's doing, how he's going to go about doing it, etc. Okay? So I want you to watch this little video now and see if you would want to be on an airplane like this. It's just a terrible plan. 